Good money. Good money. Man, it's literally so cramped back here. First step in the morning routine, make our beds. She. My cat Spaghetti does not like being touched on her belly. She just bites me. And look at her claws. Why this? Oh, we need to cut her claws. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's breakfast time. Oh, this, is, this looks disgusting, bro. <laughs> you didn't want to describe it. He just went straight there. It looks disgusting. Coconut non dairy yogurt because your boy's lactose intolerant. Dude, you should try this bread pudding. Kind granola, the best granola. Alright, so my roommate's a nutrition, he's a nutritionist major. What's your verdict on kind? Uh, 10 grams of sugar is kind of a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's definitely healthier options. <laughs> Yo, I thought I was getting the no, healthiest it's a options. branding. Dude, kind, dude, like, healthy eating is a, is a brand, bro. So they're not lying. It's not like, it's like a... <laughs> so my girlfriend got us, like, a uh, espresso machine so we could save money instead of buying out coffee. But, like, <laughs> I don't even use it as much. I, I, yeah, my, my roommate eats every day, but I still go out to cafes and still drink like coffee and tea. It's just like the novelty about like going out to biking your car and getting a cup of coffee. You're buying the experience. Yeah, but like I have not saved money because of that. All right, guys. So I'm making my one of my favorite breakfasts to make. It's super easy. It's super tasty, and it's supposed to replicate like bread pudding, but. I use coconut yogurt, granola, strawberries, honey, cinnamon, and the most important ingredient is obviously the bread. I get this like bread called marathon bread, a bunch of like poppy seeds, carrots, sesame seeds, and like a whole bunch of other goodness. Oh, oh you mash it. Yeah. Today is a snow day. We got this like weather radar alert last night saying like it's going to snow like six to eight inches and like that drive, it's going to be icy on the roads. They advise us not to go out, but honestly, half the time I feel like the weather reports are like over exaggerating and everything. So we're going to still go outside. <laughs> Anyways, I still have to go to a cafe because I can't get, well, spaghetti. Yeah, take your time. Her ass is just right here because I cannot study or be productive with food right next to me. Like, especially having the kitchen right in the same room as where, where my desk is. Like, I'm gonna be distracted. I literally have like food ADHD, I think. There's like a really low key cafe that I go to in Chelsea. So we might go there, hopefully they're open. Yeah, now I'm just gonna enjoy my shit pudding. <laughs> Bread pudding. All right guys, it's New York City. Gotta layer up, so under my jeans, I got leggings, or like some people like to call it compression pants, but these are my girlfriend's leggings. Then I have a shirt under this, and then a puffer vest, and then on top of that, another heavy jacket. Gotta stay warm. And then, cause the wind here can get pretty rough, gotta use my Nivea chapstick. Oh my god, it's so windy! <laughs> New York in February. Oh my god. It's very snowy and windy and wet and gross and grimy. Hello. It's a car store here. Yeah, so the cafe is like a tea house up upstairs of a luxury car store. I would say it's kind of like a speakeasy version of a cafe because nobody knows. This cafe tea house looks so fancy that looks like me and Ian are on a date. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I babe. Hi babe. We can play it. <laughs> Is it nice though? It is so nice. Yeah. Like, I recently graduated from nursing school, Columbia University. 
and I took my first NCLEX, which is like the license exam that all nursing students have to take, become an actual nurse, and I failed it on the first round, so I am in the process of bouncing back and restudying. I plan on taking it by the end of this month, which is February, so I've been just like grinding out a bunch of practice tests and practice exams online. So wish me luck, guys. I graduated back in September, and it's February now, so I've just been like unemployed. Everyone in my cohort is already working as a full-time registered nurse, or they went back to school and I'm kind of the only one left that's like still in limbo where I graduated, yes, but I still don't have a job. I guess I feel left behind in a way. And it's like, I, I know it's the product of my fault because I didn't prioritize studying enough the first time I took the NCLEX, but seeing all my friends' stories where they're like working at a California hospital or like hospitals around New York, and it makes me do feel like, wow, what have I been doing this whole time? I could have been in that position with them, like treating patients, and, like moving up and things like that. So life after college for me has been a little bit, I guess, rough in that sense. But I don't want to dwell on that. Like I, I'm studying, I'm going to build my way back up and use that as motivation. Mm. This is candied walnut puff pastry. Mmm. Oh, beef jerky. So pretty much to study for the NCLEX, I use an online resource called UWorld, a bank of test questions that you could practice with to build the repetitions. And it's been super duper helpful because it gives me explanations, rationales whenever I get something wrong. So really helpful. Got a little study snack. It's like fried seaweed and kale chips. Kind of salty. Mm -mm. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. Yo, that's fire. That is so fucking good. Wow. Wow. Everything else? Okay, I actually ordered another thing. <laughs> Can't stop eating. Oh. This is butternut squash sorbet. Like, isn't that freaking like unique as hell? But I think that's the problem with me in studying. Look, I already closed my laptop. <laughs> I was supposed to study like two more hours, but I just eat all the time. And the reason why I come to cafes was so I could avoid my kitchen and like stop snacking as I eat because I get distracted. But literally, I still eat out <laughs> when I'm studying at the cafes. Fuck, that's my problem, guys. All right, guys, just got home and look what I just got in the mail. More scrubs, but we got to test it out. So I got my new pair of Fabletic scrubs in the mail, and I wanted to test out if it's truly scrubs built like activewear. So for the fabric, it's anti-fade, anti-shrink, anti-microbial, and also wrinkle resist, which makes it a perfect performance grade fabric for working at the hospitals. And just from wearing it outside, I felt the breathable, lightweight, and the four-way stretch of the scrubs, which is so important as a nurse because you're running around all day. And as much as I'm loving these scrubs, I also want to share the same experience with y'all. So if you join the FabLex VIP membership program, you get $24 for your first set when you become a VIP. And from then on, you have access to VIP pricing, which is 20 to 50% off retail. Not only this, you get early and exclusive access to new styles, but also if you join the free fit app, members can get access to workout instructions from some of the best trainers and coaches around the world. So make sure you guys check out Fabletic Scrubs and I guarantee you it'll change the way you see scrubs forever. I'm waiting for my laundry now and this is kind of a cool experience because this is only my second time actually doing laundry at my new apartment here in East Village and normally, you know, I'm from the Midwest where I would have like wash and dry units in the apartment or the house so this is kind of cool to me walking to a laundromat with my basket of old clothes <laughs> you guys are probably like, this is so stupid, like it's such a small deal but hey, now that I'm living it, I kind of understand it, it is kind of a drag, not gonna lie <laughs> hey, you know, I'm living the classic New York life <laughs> I'm gonna study while I wait for laundry. I feel like nowadays, if I really wanna pass, I should study while I have all the free time.
All right, guys, I came home and now I have a problem. I didn't realize how much little space I had after I did the laundry and I have like no space in this apartment. <laughs> Mind you, it's a small ass studio that I shared with the roommate. <laughs> like, look at my closet. Like, it's already filled to the brim with clothes that I just shoved into my closet. I don't even bother folding anymore. Like, it's zero space, so what's the point of folding? Actually, I probably should fold it if I have zero space. But honestly, I'm kind of fucking lazy, so... I might just shove my clothes into my laundry basket and just use my laundry basket as another cabinet. Fuck! Yeah? It's actually a pretty big evening for my girlfriend because she's full Chinese and today is Chinese New Year's Eve. We're gonna go visit my girlfriend's family's home to celebrate like the feast or the celebration tonight. Yeah, let's do this. Happy Chinese Lunar New Year! Alright, so we arrived to my girlfriend's family's house and there's a lot of food and a lot of alcohol. <laughs> I was like, oh, that looks Yeah, that's what I was like, you look kind of good. It's their first Chinese New Year's Eve feast. Yeah, you got you the whiskey. Oh, thank you! Yeah, whiskey, whiskey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, wow, you shit, not. shit. Is that alcohol too? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Popo. Oh, okay. Hi, Popo. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> give her a hug, give her a hug. <laughs> Popo, Popo, happy Chinese New Year's Eve. Why? Stop laughing at me. He's walked away. So we're burning money for prosperity of our ancestors. Our prosperity. And our prosperity as well. So I'm gonna burn it now. Slowly. For your for your prosperity, all that kind of good stuff. Happy New Year! Back home, we're watching our show. Yeah, we're really tired and food coma ing right now. Okay, I'm missing the show. Okay, okay, okay. Happy Lunar New Year. So we came to Chinatown to have some fun. We came to celebrate. This is my first time actually being in Chinatown during Chinese New Year, so it's kinda it's kinda crazy. It's really crowded. <laughs> oh my god. So many explosions and people. Oh my god. The number of firecrackers I hear. <laughs> Yo, it's a sea of people. Oh my god, there's so many. Lunar New Year in New York is like crazy. There's so many people. We spent like 30 minutes like trying to get out that crowd. Now we came to McDonald's just so we could sit down and try the Melewa Bakery. This is the pineapple roast pork bun. It's heavy. Mm. Is it it's good? warm. It's mm -hmm. warm? First bite of Melewa roast pork bun. Mmm. Yo, the crunch on the out the top part. It's so crispy and like, and on the inside, the pork is so fucking juicy. Oh my god, so fucking good. <laughs> I feel like the rules is reversed. Happy Valentine's Day. Whoa, roses for me. <laughs> You came, you came a little bit early. <laughs> I didn't really, I couldn't have time to set up everything. But this is my girlfriend. <laughs> she got me these, what are these, are these roses? Happy like, Valentine's I mean, Day. Oh. How did I know to put the camera down to start recording this? Like I just had a feeling that it would be here when she knocked no, on that the would, door. No, that would usually be like 60. Oh. On a normal day. No, Casey? Happy Valentine's Day. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my first Valentine's Day. Really? Yeah. Look, did I do a good job? Kind of. Yeah. Look. Cute. It has chocolate on it. I made this. Oh, 
fall. Yeah. My girlfriend got me flowers. <laughs> Strawberries. Whoa, look at that crunch. She's great. Why'd you move, dude? I that thought was, you wanted to hold the pole. That was a Riz moment. <laughs> wow. Huh? <laughs> Every time I see a good view of Manhattan, I'm like, wow! But my girlfriend's born and raised here, so she's like... What is a good view? <laughs> she doesn't give a fuck, No, man. there's no good view. What are you looking at? The Eiffel Tower. Or, uh, Eiffel Tower. I mean, the World Trade Center. <laughs> Can I get a sexy Valentine's red? Fish. Stop looking. What? Are you scared of your dogs? No, baby. Then what? You don't show people that for free. <laughs> How much are you about to charge? How much would you charge for your feet pics then? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? How much do you charge? Uh, Ten dollars for my feet pics. Stop. Ooh. Show your own. Show my own. You guys really want to see my feet? Fuck it. It's so disgusting. Um, basically, you cut your nails so weird that it looked like you chewed on your toenails. And then I couldn't say anything to you because what if you actually did chew on your toenails? How am I gonna reach my toenails? You can. You can. <laughs> oh, I can. <laughs> Wait, no. my my feet's not bad. Nothing. You don't have callus. Yes, you don't have. What about what about the, the gunk in my nails? The nail? Like the black stuff? Not bad. No. Not bad? Yeah. No. You're clean. Okay. Now on to the next. Did you like the nails? What? <laughs> Did you like your nails getting done? Yeah, when you picked. <laughs> you like your colors? No. <laughs> it's okay, but you think it. <laughs> I fucked up my cake so bad that she had to come and just fix it. Progress. <laughs> How bad is it? Like, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> so scary looking. It's Patrick Star. I, I drew Squidward and it says, Where's my clarinet? We're gonna eat the Patrick Star yeah. cake. <laughs> How is it? I want to eat dinner and then eat it. I want to eat dinner and then eat it. I want to eat dinner and then eat it. I want to eat dinner and then eat it. I want to eat dinner and then eat it. I want to eat dinner and then eat it. I want to eat dinner and then eat it. I want to eat dinner and then eat it. I want to eat dinner and then eat it. I want to eat dinner and then eat it. We're watching Napoleon Dynamite now to end our little Valentine's Day. And now I have my Chris White strips on. All right, we're gonna watch the movie. Good night. <laughs>